If you've already voted absentee, it may not be too late to change your vote. If you voted for Pete Buttigieg or Amy Klobuchar before they both dropped out, you can change it if the election judges haven't received it. You'd need to call the check, cancel your vote, and then go in and vote again. But if it's already been counted, you're too late. And keep in mind, both candidates will still be on the ballot tomorrow if you're planning to vote in person. In fact, you'll see several names of candidates that are no longer running because the deadline to get on the ballot was back on December 31st. So every candidate that has dropped out since then will still be on the ballot. And be advised, election judges are not allowed to tell you who has dropped out and who hasn't. So before you go to the polls, do your research. Also, this is a primary, the first in nearly 30 years here in Minnesota. It's a little different than a normal election. The main difference uh, with tomorrow's election is that you will be having to tell your election judge which party ballot you want. And once you've picked a party, you'll vote like normal. It'll be quick because the presidential race is the only thing on the ballot. If you're already registered, you don't need to bring anything with you. Now, if you do need to register or update your registration tomorrow, um, you will need to bring identification with you to the polls. Your driver's license will work just fine if it's expired or you have an old address on it. You'll also need to bring a utility bill or another piece of mail with your name and current address on it. The polls are open from 7 in the morning until 8 at night, but if you're in line before 8 o'clock, election officials will keep the polls open until you get through the line and you can cast your vote. Gordon Severson, Carol Evan News. Great information from Gordon, but if you still have questions, just text VOTE to 763-797-7215. Yeah.